Right, Josh, congratulations on your, your debut at the weekend. Uh, an occasion to cherish and remember for a long time. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, when I knew about it, when I first found out, um, I was in shock, really, and it's, uh, it's all I wanted to do since I was little, so to actually do it, and after I felt, the way I felt afterwards was, was unbelievable, and proud for myself and for my family of what I've done. Can you describe the emotions you went through on the day? Um, the emotion, obviously, in the warm-up, and getting to the ground and whatnot, very nervous, because obviously it's a big stage and it was a big game. But after the game, I thought it was just pure happiness and, and just shock, really, that I've gone out there and, and, and performed the way I did. How much did it mean to represent your hometown club in the Premier League? Um, yeah, it was meant the world to me, obviously. I've been here since, since the age of 13, 14. Um, so to, to come through the academy and play in the top, top league in the world is, is a dream come true. And obviously from my hometown, I only live around the corner, so it's nothing better, really. Um, when did you find out you were starting in the game? Um, the gaffer first told me on the Tuesday that he's thinking about putting me in. So I was obviously in my head then, I, I thought, um, I was thinking about different things and thinking about the game, really, trying to focus. And then I knew by Friday, when we came back in to, to train, that I was, that was going to be starting. So I just had to prepare the best I could on the, on the night. Time to tell your family to get down to watch the game then? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, the gaffer wanted me to keep it quiet so it didn't obviously come out in the news and in the press. And Sunderland found out about it that obviously there's a 17 year old playing left back. And um, so obviously I told, told my mum and dad, and obviously they made the trip up on Saturday after the, new, uh, the good news. Was it nice to share the occasion with them as well? Yeah, yeah, obviously. The, my dad, my, my dad my, uh, is, at the minute, is my biggest fan. He always has been with everywhere I've been in the country, out of the country, he's been there. Um, and also my mum's getting back into it now due to me playing at such big games and big stages. So, yeah, they're my big, biggest supporters and I couldn't thank them enough for, for coming down. Managed to keep hold of your shirt after the game? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, I wanted to, to remember to remember that day for the rest of my life if um, something bad happens and football football ends, which touch wood it won't, but um, I'll have that for that memory for the rest of my life. And you're in the records book as our youngest ever Premier League player taking the record off Mark Cullen, a, a proud honour. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Um, last year when I, I last season when I set records for, for being the first uh, no, youngest player to, to start a game for Hull, so and obviously I'm a local lad, so to do it in the Premier League and to break another record at my age is, is unbelievable and one that I still can't, can't believe, can't get in my head. Previous appearances have all been cup competitions, nice to get that league one out the way. Yeah, yeah obviously, I've, I've, I've been patient to be fair and last year, as soon as I made that first one, I wanted more and I was keen to work hard and, and to get into the, the manager there that I'm ready whenever he wants me and now to get the league appearances. Obviously, it's a dream come true, and one, one that I've been patient and hoping will come. That was the next question. You've been patient, waiting for your opportunity. Was it a case of just working hard and trying to impress in training? Yeah, obviously, I give my best day to day without fail. That's that's what the manager wants, and that's what the teammates want. So, and obviously, everyone down here is a great set of lads, and they know they know what what's uh, expected of a player. And I've just had to to train each day as best I could to try and sell the manager to, to, to hopefully give me the chance. You seem to have taken everything that's happened in the past 12 months, firmly in your stride. What's the secret? <laughs> um, to be honest, there's not much of a secret. I think I've just, I just like to relax really and try and take my mind off it. As much as I try and think about it, the good things, what, what I can do on the day and how to prepare. But I think really I just, I try to relax and just do my job at the end of the day on the big stage and luckily I've done it in the past 12 months. Is it a constant smile on your face every day in training? Yeah, obviously now since I first was down here and playing for the first team at such a young age, it, you start to get confident and not overconfident but confident in yourself and your ability that you can do it on a day-to-day -day basis so to keep doing what I'm doing now is I have a smile on my face every single day, so I can't, I can't argue with that. And how helpful have the senior lads here been in helping you make the adjustment of being down here full time? Yeah, yeah, obviously um, a young lad coming into the group and so you're not in your normal environment where lads your age, you're, you're having banter, you're, 
hearing her around the chats and stuff like that. But I still, obviously, I, I've I've got used to it now, like chatting to the older senior pros, and you get used to it when you're around them every day. So now I've I've adapted to it. I'm I'm part of the group, and they welcome me. And they, they really they've been great since I've been down here, and I couldn't thank them enough. And the coaching staff as well. Yeah, the coaching staff. Um, obviously, Mike first saw me when um, the old manager was here, so. He knows what I've what I've done and what I'm capable of, and he couldn't be more. I couldn't be more happy to to say I've played, and he's given me the chance to say, show me what you can do. And also the new coaching staff and Tony with the academy who pushed me on and on to progress into a better player that I am today. How nice is it to have a familiar face and Tony down here full time now as well? Yeah, yeah. It's, obviously, it's good. It's good for myself and Jared, who's who's down here every day, and obviously the younger lads who's like like today, they've come up and. Obviously, Tony knows them inside out, so because he signed obviously most of them, so he knows, and it's a good chance for him to get down here on a, on a regular basis. Obviously, with Tony being here, ex academy manager, obviously John's got the job now, so he can send players up, and yeah, it's great for it's great for young lads. We had Jaron say that after he made his Premier League debut that he wants to kick on, doesn't want to stand still. I presume that is the same for you as well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, me and Jared are practically the same, really. Where as soon as as soon as we get a taste for obviously the big league as as it's seen now, we just want to play play more games, play play as much as we can really, get as many as many minutes as we can to to get a hold of the experience and feel what what the big league is about. Is it a case of always wanting more? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, you've still got to keep progressing and keep pushing yourself. But as soon as you get the first game out of the way, that's your next aim is to get another and another and another. Really. Um. You're the first Hullborn Academy product to play for the first team since Liam Cooper in, in 2010, but hopefully it won't take a, another six years for that to happen. No, no, the, to be fair, the, the way the academy's been at the minute, I think um, there's good good youth players in there and ones that are obviously seeing my progress, so they know it's, they know it's doing, uh, they know it's capable to do and they know they've got the right staff down there and up here. To, uh, to help him progress and, and get a chance in the first team. The sounds are all positive though, with the work being done down at Bishop Burton. Yeah, yeah obviously the, the coaching staff at Bishop are, are great, really. Um, you couldn't ask more from off the pitch and on the pitch, really. So it does help benefit the lads and it's benefited me over the past four years that I've been, five years that I've been here. So obviously now being down here, I respect it a lot more. Players like yourself, Jared and, and Greg Oller making first team appearances this season. That can be seen as a huge boost for the lads down at Bishop Burton now as well, can't it? Yeah, yeah obviously they, they've seen us play and obviously all, all my closer friends who are at under, under 18s now and the 21s, they have all seen me do it last year and obviously it was all over the moon for me. But they know it's capable because obviously I was still, I'm still at a young age now and they know that as soon as you get that chance you've got to take it and the chance will come eventually, they've just got to be patient. We saw plenty of tweets going your way on, yeah. on Saturday before and after the game, but does that yeah. show the spirit that's amongst the yeah, young, yeah, young players? I've, I've been mates of them for since I've been here, really, most of them. So, and the ones that tweeted, really, that's that's the ones I'm closest to. And they've always been there, and they know that I'm, they're going to have my support 100%, no matter how the game goes, how I do, what happens. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more happier for that. Does that show? Like I said, the spirit in the group, the way the players are delighted to see others progress as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously we're not, it's not um, a thing in the academy really where there's a bit of snobbiness about saying like, say if one player played for the first team, someone would be real jealous and we've all got that sort of connection where we're happy for each other to progress and we want, at the end of the day, we all want to see each other in the first team playing with each other week in, week out. Common occurrence with your first team appearances so far, they've all been away from home. Yeah. Up into Brick, the the Kirkham Stadium hoodoo this weekend. Yeah, obviously I've I'm still I've still waiting that I'm being patient with that as well to be fair. But yeah, I'm, I'm at the minute I, I do like an away fixture. So um, hopefully this weekend I've put enough um, spirit into the gaffer for hopefully put me in and trust me really to do it in front of the home crowd. You know, stranger to playing at the Kirkham though, having your experiences with the under twenty threes. Is will that stand you in good stead? Yeah, yeah also I'm. I'm I've done it a few times this year and last year that I've I've played at the stadium, so I know I know the feel of it, and obviously there ain't as many fans there, but hopefully we can, if I if I get the nod, then put a good performance in and get the result for the fans.